Hello. So I'm going to show you today how to open data in PGC to Max 2.1 and 3.4. Um, it works exactly the same, but I thought I could open the file in both so you could see by yourself. Um, so the reason I'm doing this is um, because there is a just file open which allows you to open a VGL or a VGI file. So if you have a VGL file, just go for that. But if you are opening the data set for the first time, there is a couple of ways of doing it, which might actually get some benefit to it. So I have two types of data. I have a 16-bit raw file, so with a VGI file. I could just open that, and it will uh, link to that. And I have a stack of TIFF file uh, with a VGI file as well. I can put like this. Um, if you don't know that, a VGI file, so VGI um, was the format for VG Studio Max 1.2 or something like that, well, VG Studio Max 1, I think. Uh, now when you save in VG Studio Max 2 and 3, uh, you get the VGL file, which is a bit different. But the VGI file um, is basically a text file. So you can open it and you get, uh, in the case of this raw file, you get the size of the volume, you know it's a 16 bit unsigned integer, and you get the voxel size. So if I would not have a VGI file, but let's say uh, not like the, the, the file I get from the, the scanner, where I get my voxel size, I will probably, well, I will get the same information if I look close, close enough. And if I would, if I don't have a VGI file, I could just do import uh, raw volume, browse, and select my raw file. And I would have to put all the information. So I know it's 16 bit here. It's often little Indian by default. So I will show you how to know that. So I will put big just to show you why, uh, how you can see the difference between the two. Um, but even that you can, you can, uh, we can see the difference later. The key part is really here. So you need to, you need this dimension to open the file. If you don't have them, you won't be able to open the file. So I have put the data already before. So it's a uh, X, Y, and Z. So I have already that. If you want to know if you have selected the right, um, number of, if it's 8 bit, 16 bit, 32 bit. So if you have this right and this right, when you click on guess, it must stay to zero. And for example, if I, if I add one, it's going to tell me that there is something wrong. And if I do 09, it's going to tell me that there is a header. But I know there is no header. So yeah, zero. Next, the useful thing is to select preview. So preview, you get a view of your slide. So we know that there's something wrong here because it's just noise. So probably because one of these things or one of these things is not right. So if I click on Little Indian, preview, then it looks like a normal slice. And just to show you this one, yeah, it's not going to be able to open it. So if you click on preview and something is wrong, just go back, change the parameter. There are only four options and two and two, so it's not, it doesn't take too long to, to get the parameter right. And then you get that. Uh, the next thing you need to do, too, if you open the file like this, is to put the voxel size. So you get it from the, you, you have to get it in some ways. You do that. And the preview is going to, well, first you can double check before actually loading the data that the data are going to be loaded properly. But most importantly, if you go to top right and front projection, you can see that the software is loading the data and you have a preview and you can actually grab the blue lines and it will crop the data before importing them. So at the moment, it's asking me like 13 gigabytes to open that. If I crop the data, 
and it can be extremely close. There is no cone beam deformation. This is the actual view of the data. So you, you can be extremely close. You can even zoom in if you want, if you really want to get as close as possible. And this one. And you see that now it's only asking me 8 gigabytes. So this is perfect. So once you're happy with that, you check the three. If you're happy, you hide that. And you can click on next. <clears throat> I can show you what's there. Um, so these values are basically what I've done with the blue lines. So you don't have to do that again. If you want to do it with menu, numeric input, you can do that now. Um, and if you open your data set and it's actually a mirrored version, like a, an inverted version of the real object, you should click on one of these and it will mirror the data and it will look normal. Um, so I'm not going to load the data right away because I'm going to show you. So that's if you don't have a VGI file. If you have a VGI file, so again, like you could do open, but if you do import VGI volume, you can select the VGI file. It's going to load the size information for you. It's going to load the resolution for you. And you can still do that. So that's why I always choose import instead of open when I open a data set for the first time and only for the first time. Because if you have done some segmentation and you use that, you're going to lose your segmentation. But anyway, so if, you, if it is the first time you do that and you're able to crop your data before opening them, and it saves a bit of memory on the, on the computer, which can be very useful, especially when the data are really large. So the second one I can show you in the meantime is to open a, v, a stack of TIFF. So it would be, I could do the same uh, import, and I will look for the, the VGI file with my stack of images. Um, and you will have all the information right away, but uh, I prefer to show you the extra step where you do import image stack and you remove if there is something, you select the format. So in my case, it's TIFF. And you click on directory. You select the directory with your images. It's going to load them here. You see the file name, so you can double check that if you want. And then we will get to something very similar. So the software cannot know from the TIFF image um, what is the, uh, the pixel size. So you need to, it's going to put, it might put one by default, which is a better way to be sure that you have the wrong value. Uh, but I have an information file with the, the scanning parameters and everything. And I have my voxel size. So I can put that, but it was the, the right one uh, because I've done it before. So you remember the last time I've done it and he, he you put that here, but if it would have been something else, yeah, you can put that. And same thing, so resolution uh, preview, and sometimes it takes a while to show the slice, or it doesn't want to show the slice, but um, or in that case, it's not that important. Or maybe I can check another one. It doesn't want to show it to me, but same thing. Uh, you have an overview of your specimen, of your object, and you can crop the data in the three direction, and you will start saving the memory. So here it's still 10 gigabytes, and if I remove this and that, it's only, it was one gigabyte, and now it's a bit less. So it's a small data set. I choose a really small data set uh, just to be super quick. So when I'm happy about that, um, I can click on next. There would be the same thing here. I can invert my data if there's something wrong. Um, you can choose, so the original data, they are in 16 bits. I could choose to 
um, have them in 8 bit. And as you see, it decreases the size by 2. So 16 bit is twice the size, it's twice larger than 8, eight bit. And if I do 32 bit, it's twice the size of 16 bit. So uh, yeah, use the one that makes sense for you. Um, when you do this, you can use histogram on top of preview because uh, you will be able, you will have an histogram that shows um, the background and something that is most likely my bone. And if I use, um, so you see that the data 16 bits, so it's 65, a bit more than 65,000 uh, gray value. If you select 8 bit, it's going to remap everything between 0 and 255. So you lose a lot of gray level resolution, but maybe it's perfectly fine for what you want to do. And here, with the histogram, so here you have the, the input data, so the 16 bit, it goes from 0 to 65,000, and the, it's going to be loaded as 0 to 255. You can actually choose to load only a part of the, of the histogram. So it means it's not going to remap from zero to, it's, going, it's not going to change to uh, recalculate zero to six, 65,000 to zero 265. It's gonna, it's gonna do uh, from this value, the one I select here uh, until this one. And what it means, it means you can optimize the resolution for the data set you are working on. But you can see that um, it's probably if, that if I do that, I'm probably going to lose a bit too much of resolution. But we can see how it looks. I can saturate my data a little bit. So by saturate, I mean if we look at that part, it becomes a bit white. Um, and that's fine for what I want to do, so I, I can do that. I finish. It's going to load the stack. So now it's really uh, going to use uh, very little memory, so it makes everything faster. And then my bone looks like this. So you see the, the background is completely dark. The inside is completely saturated, but for what I want to do, perfectly fine. So depending on what you want to do, that's uh, an option you may want to use. And that's it for uh, the, the different ways of um, loading the data. So the idea of using import is, uh, is to be able to crop the data a little bit and save a bit of memory. But if you've worked on the data, so if I uh, file, save as, and I save it here, so my data, Uh, it's going to, if on VGStream Max 3, is proposing to export the data yeah, along with it, but I don't want to do that, so I'm going to say no. Uh, but it's just to show you the format. Uh, so now I have a VGL and a folder with other information. Uh, if I, I can import the VGL volume, so by uh, clicking there, And I can do the exact same thing. It's taking a bit more time um, because there is more information to load from the, the this folder. There's a, a few things. Is loading all this information. So it's loading the light setting. It's loading everything. And um, but the the important thing is that if you have some uh, segmentation, you might not be able to uh, to you, it will not open it with import. Well, I'm not going to wait, but because you, you see the, the the idea. So it's really, if you open your data for the first time, I suggest using import because you have a bit more control and you can reduce the size uh, of the data you're going to work with. But if you're opening the data for the first time, you can actually, uh, so just file, open, and select your VGA file. And it's going to remember that you cropped the data and everything. So uh, that's probably the best way to do it. Thank you for listening.